a warm welcome to all the listeners. Listen to the Blue Horns. Dr. CKN is in conversation with Pooja. I'm sure you'll enjoy this session and I'm sure it's going to be some food for your thought. Welcome back, Mr. Blue Horse. I thought we are at hottest and then we are going to burn. Hottest will start maybe after 15-20 days. Yeah. So, on the now that because I am suffering in the heat, I am thinking about health and wellness and all that. Nobody will suffer in heat. Heat is good for you. Okay. Heat charges all your battery. It does? Inside the body. Okay. <laughs> so? It is always better to live in heat. Is it? Than in biting cold. Why? Because cold you become stiff and lethargic. I really feel very crisp and fresh when it, the weather is cold. No. Not talking about the cold in Scandinavia. That is extreme hmm. but I difficult think, yeah to live by yeah you have to have a lot of energy to maintain heat yeah that's so why they, they, they take a lot of carbs one or two <laughs> swigs of alcohol mm-hmm. it keeps you warm yeah see that's not alcohol so bad alcohol is nothing other than carbohydrate again they ferment it on yeah calories hmm. coming to that topic i mean carbs off lately with all the all the diet funda and everything has been looked at as something which is bad for health, right? Or bad for people who want to maintain a particular um, uh, weight or weight or, or measurement or whatever. What do you think? Is carbs, I mean, totally avoiding, I know is not good, but still is carbs a good uh, macro uh, food See. item or how? See, first of all, one should understand what is carb, what is carbohydrate, stylingly called carbs. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Carbohydrate. Okay. Hmm. Carbohydrate is abundantly produced molecule on earth hmm. by nature. Hmm. Your body is built with oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon atoms up to 92% close, 92% of your body. Right. So, God, uh, nature, God has given you carbohydrate as your basic food. Okay. Yeah. If you see the plant kingdom, they are all carbohydrates, but they are structural material, cellulose. Hmm. We cannot eat them. Animals have the capacity to digest cellulose. Hmm. So, we take the yield, hmm. fruits, vegetables, pulses, yeah. grains, all. And if you take the human cells, you know, they are all called carboribose. We are also carbohydrate only, right? Hmm. You take all the living species, animal kingdom, everything is carbohydrate. Carboribose there. Okay. They are all basically built with carboribose and protein. Hmm. But then, this uh, carbohydrate is continuously, abundantly produced on earth in many forms. Hmm. One is plant kingdom. What do the plant kingdom do? They produce, a, they produce glucose. Right. By receiving CO2 in the air, they take the carbon they want. The carbon, one mm. one carbon, two oxygen atom is a carbon dioxide. So they take the consume the CO2 and take the carbon for themselves to produce uh, oxygen, uh, glucose, and they leave CO2 out. That's why that's how plant kingdom is producing oxygen, oxygen. for us mm. to the air. Okay. Mm. So carbohydrates are what they are nothing. They are one to one ratio of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Hmm. One uh, portion of carbon, two portions of hydrogen, one portion of oxygen. Hmm. Group of atoms come together and form a molecule. Yeah. So C6H12O6 is a glucose. C66 carbon atoms, H12, 12 hydrogen atoms, O6, 6 oxygen atoms hmm. come together form a glucose. Hmm. They, 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 form, they, they come together and form a molecule. They are in a configuration. Right. So the basic building blocks are glucose, galactose and fructose. Hmm. But they are all C6, H12O6, but there is a configuration, there are differences. Okay. So they are differently called, even though they are the same formula of C6, H12O6. Okay. So these are the simple building blocks, they are monomers, they are called monosaccharide. Hmm. The carbohydrates are divided into four, monosaccharide, disaccharide, oligosaccharide and polysaccharide. Okay. Saccharide is a Greek word for sugar. Hmm. So, your glucose, galactose and fructose are the single sugar molecules. They are all sugar molecules. Hmm. Di molecules are two molecules are bonding with each other. Hmm. Maltose, you must have heard maltose. Hmm. Glucose plus glucose is maltose. Hmm. One glucose is sticking with another. Hmm. The first carbon of the first glucose, the fourth carbon atom of the second glucose are bonding with each other. Hmm. That's how these two guys are sticking to each other. Hmm. It's called 1 to 4 glycosidic bonding. Okay. The glucose plus galactose is lactose, hmm. what is found in milk. Hmm. The glucose plus fructose is sugar, sucrose. Sucr- Oligosaccharide are, you know, 15 to 20 <coughs> glucose molecules are sticking with each other produced by the plant kingdom. Those I plant feel kingdom. like I've gone to my chemistry class. Mm, the, those plant kingdom which cannot produce starch. <laughs> Polysaccharides are hundreds and thousands of molecules. Glucose molecules are bonding with each other. 
oh. in a linear chain of glucose. Oh. It's called uh, polysaccharide, which is starch material, all your rice, meat, and all that stuff. Oh. Now, this is I briefed you about what, what is all these things about. Oh. Now, you need to know what because these, uh, you know, 100 trillion human cells, individually they are a unit by itself. Hmm. Each and every cell is a unit by itself. Yeah. They are like you, they know everything. <laughs> they know, they know, they can speak, they can jump, they can dance, right. they can cry, they can laugh, everything. Hmm. These guys have to function for which glucose is the only energy source. Hmm. So the glucose comes inside the. Uh, through the insulin, it is transported inside the human cell mm. of any type of cell. Gets converted to ATP molecule at the mitochondria. Mm. Adenosine triphosphate, that's a high energy currency source to drive your RNA and DNA. That's how the cell functions. Like how you have to put petrol or diesel to run your car. See, you need to give glucose as a fuel to mm -hmm. human cells, mm. which will convert that into ATP high currency molecule, that is adenosine triphosphate. And drive the RNA and DNA, so based on that the cell is functioning. Mm. You need to have carbohydrate in your food. There are basically, if you look at the human body and the food which is coming from outside are divided into three. One is carbohydrate, the protein, then it's fat. Mm. Even though you need a little amount of protein and fat, you need good amount of carbohydrate. Mm. So, hey, for example, if somebody is 80 kilos body weight. Yeah. His brain weighs only 1.4 kg. Huh. The weight of the brain is around 1.4 kg in a human adult. Huh. That means 78.6 uh, uh, kilos is your total body weight, 1.4 kilos is your brain. Huh. This 1.4 kilo brain consisting of various types of neuron cells, they consume almost close to one third of the glucose you consume through yeah. your food. Yeah. It requires so much. Mm. This is, you have to know this very carefully. Mm. The balance 78.6 kilos of your body weight consumes too little, right? Two thirds, mm. one fourth is taking. So because of so much of uh, Demand? carbohydrates, uh, glucose molecules are consumed by the brain mm. for it to you know, function. Mm. Uh, the brain cells are working very hard. Mm. So they are, you know, uh, very, very important because of that, the oxygen consumption is also very high. In the mitochondria, when the uh, glucose uh, pyruvates are converted to ATP molecule through the complex protein structure, mm. it's called the electron transport chain. Mm. Okay? Mm. Uh, mitochondria itself is called a proton pumping machine. Mm. They remove all the protons. Mm. Okay. And these protons are positively charged. Right. They cannot be left out. They can damage your body. Oh. So they are held very carefully between the intermediate space of the two membranes what mitochondria has. Mm. So the oxygen coming supplied by the human blood, mm. by the hemoglobin, will consume these protons, hydrogen protons, and convert them into water. Mm -hmm. So every cell continuously producing water. Oh. A guy who is running a marathon of 42 kilometers, mm. burning so much of energy, right? Mm. Continuous running man. Yeah. He produces nearly close to 600 ml of water in his body by these cells manufacturing these water molecules. Right. Imagine 600 ml is produced mm. into us. Wow. Two and a half hours of So if you deprive your body with from carbohydrate, mm. it's not good for you. You're going to become lazy, you're going to be tired and you're going to be sick. Sick how? You will become sick. Lack of energy? Yeah. What will happen is that uh, your brain slow down mm. because it's not getting enough of fuel. Mm. Right? Mm. And then what happens? You get into depression. Depression? Mm. If the brain slow down, mm. your thinking process itself slow down. Okay. So you get into the depression side. Uh, like how? I mean, why depression specifically? I mean, maybe you may not think anything, you may become a bit vague. You become dull, so yeah. you become depressed. Okay. I'm telling you, your whole thinking process itself will slow down. That is called depression. Or it could just be a mellow mood, right? What do you mean mellow mood? I mellow mood may be good enough when you are eaten. If you are eaten well and you are in a mellow mood, it's fine. Hmm. If you are starving for carbohydrate, you are making yourself to starve for carbohydrate. Hmm. And then you're going to, you know, melt yourself by not giving proper energy to the, uh, you know, human cells. Mm. Especially the neuron cells in the brain, which has to, you know, function very hard, mm. you know, processing millions and millions of data in every second. You know, you're going to bugger up the whole function of the brain mm. because it's not getting enough of fuel what it wants for its all its function. So it's going to slow down. See, brain itself, when it comes to the question of, uh, you know, uh, glucose transport, mm. they don't depend on insulin. No, it is a protein transfer. Mm. 
because they cannot depend on insulin tomorrow if your pancreas doesn't work mm. in pancreas it is uh, if your pancreas doesn't work it doesn't produce enough of insulin mm. and you want to pump in insulin for your uh, you know by injection to transport your uh, glucose to the human cells mm. you think brain will be waiting for you to inject pancreas it will you will die mm. so only the fourth glucose transport section 1 2 1 3 5 and 5 there are three glu- uh, glut 1 glut 2 glut 3 glut 4 glut 5 mm. glut 4 is the only one which uh, uh, supplies uh, glucose to the skeletal body by insulin molecule by insulin uh, produced by the beta cells of the pancreas mm. so brain doesn't depend on your, your red blood corpus is which is holding the hemoglobin which is the you know as the capacity to uh, absorb uh, retain and deliver oxygen those these red blood mo- mo- blood cells red blood uh, rbcs yeah. they, they they don't depend on your uh, uh, glucose transport from insulin no because they are primary they cannot wait for your insulin and all that they also get their glucose instantly through protein transfer uh, all right mm their body has been designed so well so they take from the protein hmm? so then they'll take there are certain proteins which will transport the uh, insulin into the cell you need a transporter so it- the insulin has come into the blood through your food now it has to be transported inside every human cell right that's called the glucose transport system mm. i'm just a, saying a particular what, protein will do the transportation what if like you you are low on on carbs what happens low on carbs your your brain is not going to function uh, function efficiently no internally the energy transfer and stuff everything will slow down neogenesis will start oh see the glucose metabolism is divided into four major category called glycolysis mm. glycogenesis glycogenolysis glyconeogenesis glycolysis is nothing other than we are eating food which is getting processed in the stomach after digestion it goes to the intestine mm. from the intestine all the molecules what is required for the body is absorbed mm. through the portal vein it is transferred to the liver from the liver it gets scanned and go to the mainstream of the blood where we get enough of glucose mm. to function our human cells this is called glycolysis mm. insulin uh, produced by the pancreas will uh, you know transport all these glucose cells to the, our uh, glu- glucose uh, uh, to the human cells and whichever the other uh, suppose your kidney intestines and all are sodium uh, transport hmm. so various types of transports systems will transport the glucose to various types of the uh, cells in the body now once this process is done and we, we have we have got a lot of extra glucose hmm. it get converted to glycogen and once stored in the liver when the liver is full hmm. then it is stored in the many parts of the muscular tissues in the body hmm. now suppose you are having your dinner at 7 o'clock in the evening Yes. next day morning you're going to eat your breakfast at 8:30 hmm. so there's going to be 13 and a half hours of break right right, right. so i need sugar hmm. i need uh, glucose because my cells need glucose so who's going to do the job hmm. so the alpha cells in the pancreas will produce something called glucagon hmm. an hormone hmm. which will come and release the glycogen break them into single monomers and start throwing in the blood so body will maintain always around 70 to 90 uh points of glucose for uh, you know for a uh, deciliter of blood hmm. otherwise if you go less than 20 you will go to coma oh less than 20 is called hypo- hypoglycemia you go less than 20 hmm. you drop down from 60 itself you will start becoming loose very okay. tired right 20 you will go to coma right. brain cannot function hmm. no you understand this hmm. now glyco this is called gly- glycogenesis is conversion of uh, uh, glucose into glycolysis uh, uh, glycogen hmm. releasing of glycogen through uh, alpha uh, cells producing glucagon is glycogenogen glycogenolysis hmm. glycogenolysis is you have no stock from your food hmm. you have no glycogen now what the body will do body will what you what you cannot die hmm. so it will convert all your fat hmm. into energy source that's neogenesis Okay. To keep you survive. Yeah. Your heart and the brain has to go on. Or hmm. you're going to die. Hmm. Like your genu- neogenesis will start. So if you're going to deprive yourself from carb, hmm. neogenesis will go on. That's how you lose weight. Hmm. Okay. So carbohydrate becomes a very important part of your food. That's the only major part of your food. Okay. If you're going to dance around without the carbohydrate, slowly you're going to bugger up yourself. But all like does it have major problem like you know renal failures and this and that one by one things go down or how does it work actually? If like for example if you go for a long keto diet. No, that going? will uh, that will uh, smash your whole system. Keto diet, paleo diet and all that. Mm. you know low carb diet hmm. 
uh low fat diet right uh, high protein rich protein diet so the yeah, rich protein you want to eat too much of protein body needs only 0.8 grams of protein per kg of body weight for a calendar day hmm. you are not going to pump in yourself with too much of protein that because that's going to make your blood highly acidic in nature hmm and it's not going to help you right. you don't need so much of protein body produces its own protein it doesn't need this the production of protein by the human body is not based on your food and nutrition at really? all no so there are so far uh, more than 1 lakh 50000 types of protein has been detected so far in the blood in the in the human body yeah. mm. but carbohydrate is the only predominant food what humanity needs that is why we produce four major uh, components from the agriculture Mm, rice rice wheat milk and sugar all of carbohydrate mm. lactose is there in uh, milk mm. sucrose you know disaccharide yeah. yeah. well, rice and wheat are polysaccharide starch material mm. hundreds and thousands of glucose in a linear chain mm. bonding with each other with the one to four glycosidic bonding mm. right right now these things are not produced we are gone more than 700 750 million metric ton of uh, rice is produced every year and uh, i thought milk is not good for us whether milk is not good for us or not we produce so many things through milk your curd yeah your butter milk yeah your ghee your butter your cheese so those are not good are they no it depends on how much you're going to use mm. which part of the geography you're placed mm. see eating anything in excess is bad no matter whatever you want whatever component either you want to eat too much of food or too much of fat mm. all that kind of thing is no good mm. the point here is carbohydrates are the primary food need for every human life mm. if you are going to deprive yourself from carbohydrate by talking about or learning about too many diet patterns diet designs which are you know eliminating 99% of your carbohydrate you are going to land up in trouble if you are going to practice diet mm. patterns yeah. so the food which is very important to the human body mm. should be only one whatever that you have eaten under your parents mm. through your childhood days up to the age of 18 20 till you reach adulthood mm. should be the food for the rest of your life okay. say for example people living deep in siberia mm. they have no access to carbohydrate they eat only meat yeah. they eat only fish okay all mm. three meal a day mm. there is no carb there right. but they can survive because they are used to it mm. they are tuned to it yeah. not you and me True. you think you and me go and live in siberia and eat uh, you know fish and uh, uh, another flesh and have your life going no i prefer i don't think so yeah or uh, can you go to the greenland and live with live with eskimos and eat only meat yeah. no carb There are human beings which are living in certain terrains like this, or designed to live without carbohydrates because they are used to it from the childhood, not mm. you and me. Mm. So carbohydrates is the most needed food in a human life on a day-to-day -day basis. If you are going to deprive yourself from carbohydrate, you are going to be in trouble. Okay. We'll complete that. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Blue Horse. So apart from everything in moderation, please do not also cut down on your carbs in the hope of getting healthier. We will see you in the next session.